When I heard they were going to open with Mercedes, I said this exact thing on Observer Live. Don't do this. Save her for the end. Make people wait. If you bring her out of the beginning, it's going to do a big first quarter, and then it's going to fall to normal, and then don't. Just wait. Well, they didn't. They brought her out at the very beginning of the show. Brian. Along with Granny and Craig and sometimes other people. And sometimes other people today is Tara. I went to AEW Revolution. I went to Dynamite and then Collision. Oh so, my God. <laughs> the shirt, every flight is a red eye. Yeah. What does it mean? <laughs> I, I don't know. I was like, is it a weed reference? I, 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 I believe, I, I would guess that. Oh, to... actually, yeah. Thank we you. are we are very old here. And lame. <laughs> this program. Speak for yourself. That's, that's I refuse factual, to be old. Factual, factual statement. Okay, Grandpa. Yeah, you're a grandfather, dude. <laughs> Again, I, I got a four-year-old and you're a grandfather. Well, it's not my fault you got laid late in life. Craig, please. <laughs> All right, that was a good one. Come on. That was funny. I wanted to mention cheeky slag, you know, kind of naughty cheeky yeah up sure. to something cheeky slag yeah and mm -hmm. my four-year-old's a cheeky slag <laughs> oh brian don't, are you kidding me she don't totally, call her that brian, public totally do, do not look up slag on urban dictionary i will say <laughs> that uh well not that kind of like it five star squash i have never seen okada do a squash i want to see okada do a thousand squashes i don't want okada in a competitive match the rest of this year just slaughter geeks he was signed when he was 16. he's almost 19. Can we do something with Nick before he's in his 20s? Here's the thing. He's not going to be 18 when he's 30. You know what I'm saying? God he's going to be 18 right. when he's 18. So Hold what the on. fuck are we waiting for here? Hold on. Let me grab my calculator. Yes, you got it. Don't play with fire is my suggestion. But like if you're gonna, don't do unannounced fire on Saturday night. You're going to get 400,000 people watching you get burned. Limerick about Vinny's hemorrhoids and the surgery to remove them. How is your ass, Vinny? I almost uh, called it sick today. Oh, really? Set back, set back today. There once was a man named Vinny whose surgery did not outie his innie. <laughs> this is already the winner. <laughs> Tim, get the money ready, brother. They cleared out his interior for a comfier posterior. <laughs> that, that doesn't mean now he is skinny. Tim, that 25 bucks. I mean, come on, brother. He made fun of my ass and called me fat. What was a unique hairstyle worn by men in the 60s? Pompadour. Mop and conk. Whatever what? that is. I beg your pardon, excuse Mop. me? Cock Mop and pump? And conk. Say that yeah, one more time. Nobody else talk. Pop and conk? Yeah. Are you sure, Granny? <laughs> Read it again. Mep O P. Mop. Comma. Conk. Mop conk. Mop conk? Conk. C O N K. Okay. Look it up. Hey. All right. Mop conk? Mop conk? That's two different things. I know. <laughs> Damn it. Duh. <laughs> Why is she mad at us? Because <laughs> we're idiots. I tried to cut my fingernails and cut the end of my finger off. Now, what? Now it's, ble now it's bleeding on my book. Can you show it to the uh, camera? Why were you doing this during the show? <laughs> I'm not. I we had an insane, insane, insane wizard inset promo. What in the fuck was he talking about? <laughs> I don't know. He was know. on his way to his eighth reincarnation. 15th. I believe he said they put a steel plate into George's tongue to fix a speech impediment. That makes you speak better? You know anything about a tongue? <laughs> it needs to be pliable to work. You know what seems fun? Cocaine. Wow. Can confirm. Jake was wearing acid-washed jeans over a singlet, and then over the jeans, he had like this rose-colored velvet robe. Did I mention cocaine sounds fun? Jake threw in a lot more sexual innuendos than we realized as children. He explained to Hillbilly Jim, mind you, it's not the size of the wand, it's the magic you can perform. <laughs> well, is he wrong? You wouldn't know. I think we need to get the negative out of the way. This rating sucked. This was AW Big Business. They had fewer viewers and fewer 18 to 49 viewers than they did a week ago. Mm. When I heard they were going to open with Mercedes... I said this exact thing on Observer Live. Don't do this. Save her for the end. Make people wait. If you bring her out of the beginning, it's going to do a big first quarter, and then it's going to fall to normal, and then don't. Just wait. Well, they didn't. They brought her out at the very beginning of the show. The main event quarter did terrible. People didn't know she was coming out. It died. In the future, if you've got a big debut, 
advertise. Tony Khan is a promoter. Do you know what that word means? Mm -hmm. It means one who promotes. Promote who is showing up. Promote your stars that are going to be on the show. Promote, promote, promote. And if you've got something fucking big on the show, we've seen this a million times with AEW. If you have something big, make people wait until the end of the show. And they'll stick around to see it. And then with new video, new music, and a new nickname, out comes the CEO, Mercedes Monet. I don't like the theme. That'll work out. I don't like it. We'll see. You're, you're welcome to your opinion. You like this theme? It's fine. I think I think piping in the chants as part of the theme is a great idea. It worked right away. Mm. Got the fans chanting CEO, which they may not have otherwise. She's very moved by this reaction. Very emotional. It was a superstar moment. And for once in this company, a 100% total babyface promo. She should be a babyface for a while, but ultimately, she's much better served as a heel. But I thought it was an excellent, excellent introduction to the character. You know, a lot of people are now saying, oh, man, she's not a draw. She's not a draw. Well, she may not be a draw, but we don't know because of this show. Because I didn't advertise her. Earlier today, Alex Marvez attempts to interview the elite. Now, this is what I pay no money for, but I would be willing to. If they started to go fund me after this segment here, I'd have donated Credibility is important, and part of being credible as a writer, an analyst, a critic, whatever you want to call us, credibility involves admitting that sometimes you are wrong. And when I said they made a mistake, I knew this was coming. They said they when I said you were an idiot. I said they made a mistake having Okada as a heel. I was wrong. Thank you. You spent months doing a Continental Classic tournament to create a Triple Crown Championship. And three months later, you're going to start splitting it apart already? Why? So we can have another belt? Now Eddie's going to have two belts, and Okada's going to have one belt. So Eddie's going to lose one of those, and then we're going to have three more belts running around? Mm. We already have six singles titles in AEW. We don't need more. That's only for the men, by the way. So Osprey gets a promo, and <laughs> he's, he's unbelievable. so awesome. What can he not do? Nothing. How stupid could you be in negotiations, like, downplay this guy's worth? I don't want to hear the bullshit about how WWE couldn't do this. They can do anything that they want. And if they wanted to pay him whatever they could, if they wanted to let him stay in England, they could. The fact is, they didn't want to do it. And they lost this guy. And if I were them, I would feel stupid today. Great main event. Sadly, nobody watched it. But if you watched it, it was very good. The crowd begins to boo. Mercedes Monet didn't make the save. Drops Sky with one punch, stares down Julia, immediately kicks her, does whatever her wacky move is, and drops her on her face. Mercedes can uh, celebrate with her people. That show was great. I like everything they've done with Robert Stone and Von Wagner. But the fact of the matter is, these fans, they just don't give a shit. Because when Lexus King beat this guy, and then Von makes a save, and he carries Robert Stone's body to the back, these fans are so into this that they chant, he's a baby. Because <laughs> Vaughn was carrying him like a baby. It's like, wow. The Virgin comes out. And he's wearing an Ole Anderson shirt this week after his Terry Gordy shirt last week. I think he had a Terry Funk shirt. I need a video feature on this man's closet because this is wrestling shirt collection kicks ass. If you're going to make a mob movie with pro wrestlers, this is about as good as it could ever be. But, but it's totally it's ridiculous. ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I don't want he to watch He was going to a... kill the NXT champion. I don't want to watch a mob movie with, with a goddamn stars. camera crew yeah. on a bridge admitting to murder. Come on. What I demand you all do is go watch this segment. Carmen says, we can get in the cage of the ring. I'll kick your face off. <laughs> and then Lola says, I'm a master. Your skills are no match. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow it's funnier when you say it. Then Brindley fucking Reese cartwheels in. She's being incredibly annoying. And Edris and Malik show up and drag her off. I command you, listening right now to watch this segment, I command you. This show, the first hour and 50 minutes is shit. Just shit. And now comes Trick. Turned everything around. This guy is special. Noam is here to steal Trick's hype because nobody's hotter than him right now. Uh, Trick says, well, the way Miss Legend is looking at me, I think she agrees no one's hotter than me right now. Crowd goes crazy. Lash and Trick have been a couple for a long time. Oh. They've been together for a long time. 
they've done this trope for 120 years. Female valet goes to hit the baby face, and the baby face prevents it, and then kisses her against her will. It's a spot that's been done in wrestling forever. You can't do that shit anymore. But they switched it up. He dips her, but she stares deep into his eyes. And she grabs him and kisses him. And this fucking crowd, they lost their shit at that kiss. When this was over, I could not wait for next week's show. And going into this segment, I was dreading having to watch this show again. Yes. 